Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here, and uh, welcome to Battlefield 5. Today, I will show you the best weapons in Battlefield 5. These guns will give you a head start when you play the game for the first time, because they will give you the shortest time to kill. Of course, you will still have to be able to control the weapon, but I'm sure that a pro player like yourself can do that easily. I will make an in-depth video about all of these guns, but for now, I just wanted to share the best guns so that you can get started right away. Hopefully it will save you a lot of time, because otherwise you would have to figure this out on your own. For the Assault class, we have the M1907. This gun is the absolute best weapon to kill an enemy within 30 meters. It is extremely well suited for close range combat. Normally we speak in terms of time to kill, but it's easier for now to focus on frames to kill. So the amount of frames it takes in order to kill an enemy if we assume 60Hz, where one frame is 16.66ms. The M1907 only needs 14 frames to kill, and this is the main reason why it outclasses all of the other assault class weapons. At 30 meters you will only need 19.35 frames to kill, and at 45 meters it needs 23.12 frames to kill. After this point, you're better off using the Guerrero 43. It has a constant frames to kill of 24, up to a range of 125 meters. The Guerrero 43 is a great gun, but it is slightly more suited towards long range combat compared to the M1907. It received a higher rate of fire, 257 turned into 300. So, on certain maps, you are much better off using the Guerrero 43. When you're playing as a medic, then you should be using the Suomi. It is incredibly good in close quarters combat and it only needs 11 frames to kill, which is amazing. It has a rate of fire of 770 meters per second, but you can even upgrade that to 981. The Suomi is the best medic class gun up to a range of 30 meters. After that, the M1928A1 becomes the best gun. The first weapon available to the support class is the KE-7 and this is also the best weapon if you don't take the MG-34 and the MG-42 into account. For those guns you basically have to go prone all the time if you want to take advantage of the low amount of frames to kill. The MG-42 can kill in 9 frames, while the KE-7 needs 17 frames. On paper, the MG-42 looks better, right? Well, not really. You have to take into account the time that you will need to lie down and to deploy your bipod. The time it takes to do that is much higher than the 8 frames difference between their frames to kill. So, unless you want to lie around all day as a support class player, then the KE-7 is the best gun that this class has to offer. If you love to play as a sniper, then stick to the ZH-29. It can kill in only 22 frames per second. But it is outperformed by the Autoloading 8, because that one can kill in only 18 frames to kill. However, there is a catch. It can only do that up to a range of 50 meters. After that, the ZH-29 is the best gun. The reason why you should use the ZH-29 instead of the Autoloading 8 is because of the nature of the class. Usually, your engagement distance is much higher than 50 meters, because you're playing as a sniper. So most of the time you'll be killing at 50 meters and beyond. If you want to kill your opponents within 50 meters, then you're better off playing as one of the other classes. The ZH-29 has a rate of fire of 138 in the beta, but this has been brought up to 150. This can even be improved further by upgrading your weapon. And there you have it, the best guns for Battlefield 5. Some of you might have expected to see the STG in here, but that gun wasn't even the best gun in the beta. Even though everybody was crying OP. On top of that, they nerfed that gun even further, so yeah, it doesn't make that much sense anymore to use it. To summarize, the best guns in Battlefield 5 for each class, based on the frames to kill, are the M1907 for the Assault class, the Suomi for the Medic class, the KE-7 for the Support class, and the ZH-29 for the Recon class. Just for info guys, I started streaming Battlefield 5 on Twitch. You're more than welcome to come and take a look, maybe even say hi while you're there, I would really appreciate it. It will also be the first place where I will be showing the weapon stats as soon as they're complete, so it pays off to stick around and watch for a while. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind leaving a like and maybe even subscribe if you want to know more about Battlefield 5. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield.